Good morning, thank you for joining me today. We are out on our adventure of the day. We are coming over here as well. This oh, here's really. the whale head. <laughs> Today we've come to Science City. Uh, apparently there is um, a combo ticket, otherwise you pay for each part separately. But we are interested in seeing the space information um, after the recent Mars landing and they do such amazing work. We're also interested in seeing their robo robotics, which is apparently awesome. So, um, they've got an aquarium part. We may or may not see that. Oh, look, number ten looks like looks like the robotics. The aquatic gallery would probably be interesting. I think Tim is more interested in seeing um, the space. So we'll see how that goes, and whether we do that afterwards or not. And we're coming up to the robotics gallery. This is going to be exciting. Oh, look. <laughs> oh. So even in front of this amazing robot display, they have the traditional little pools and plants. <laughs> it's such a nice combination. I love it. Museum, not museum, but this is the history um, gallery, Roboseum. A robot may not injure a human being or, through inaction, allow a human being to come to harm. A robot must obey the orders given it by a human being, except where such orders will conflict with the first law. And a robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second laws. Well, you can't get away from Star Wars, even here. Wow. Oh. Leonardo is said to have displayed this robot in 1495 at the court of Milan. Huh. <coughs> Maria Maschinenmensch. Maria Jim and wow. she's a machine person. AKA okay, robot. Oh. oh a Dalek. They have a Dalek. The silver arm was built in 1974, um, primarily by David Silver from MIT. It has pressure sensors, touch sensors, and a microcomputer, and can replicate the fine movements of human hands. A great feat in the history of robotics. Oh look, this strongly resembles characters I know. This is a ball. 
Johnny Five. We are getting ready to start a tour and this robot is supposed to dance. That's a cute face. So I think they're getting ready to play some sort of soccer. I can see the eyes blinking on the little black ones. <laughs> Just give me that. They seem a little bit confused about where the ball is. Well, that didn't take much knocking him down. These are the industrial robots. I really need to zoom in some so you can see it better but then it will be all shaky because I can't I'm having to hold it at arm's length to get this everybody is so excited to rush to the next part and see what they're doing these ones are the medical robots that we pretty much see in our everyday life now this one just looks like a lizard There's a really interesting crosswalk up here. Yeah, I do not like bikes. Oh, we'll walk in the middle. Look at this cool boys. 
Yes, all the kids down here. But we're crossing the crosswalk that I took the picture of earlier. So this is supposed to be a robot show. Looks like we have musicians. These are students who made these robots for a robo fest. I am tilting the camera to get over the glass edge to see this, so I'm not sure if it's going to be a problem. And I apologize in advance if it is. How cool. like a drone. This one is used for reconnaissance and, reconnaissance and surveillance operations. This is ARIA. It's an autonomous underwater vehicle. And this one's an unmanned aerial vehicle. But I'm trying to get over here where the Chandrayaan 2 rover is. So this is a model of the rover that they launched recently. No, this one was India's second mission to the moon. This is ECA, a shortened form for Ekchoti Si Asha, which means a small hope. It has a liquid rocket engine with a thrust capability of 440N for deceleration. The um, Bengaluru based private aerospace firm Team Indus is part of a consortium that's banked a contract from NASA to design and build a lander for its next lunar mission. Oh, that was in 2020, but isn't this cute? You remember Johnny Five, right? That was and his Wally. That was the huge show. And uh, his name was Johnny Five. And he got struck by lightning and, and became alive. Yeah, so he so after the robotics center, we're coming to the aquatic center. And look at all the aquariums. Yeah. Take the You sure? Oh, you need to bend a lot. Watch.
They look great. <laughs> There's an amazing mosaic around the aquarium. We're up a level now. I don't know if you can see all the colors of these little fish, but they're just spectacular. They're not bright, bright, but they are purple and pink and green and tan. They're just lovely. And here's some really bright coral. We went for a 5D ride, turned out to be like a roller coaster. A virtual roller coaster. We were just shaken around. I'm being summoned. And now we're going to go get some lunch. I think this is the restaurant, the Cafe Amul. Amul, I think, is um, a brand name of a dairy. Is we had Amul butter on the plane, and we have Amul milk in our refrigerators in the room. Well, that should be interesting. We'll see what they've got to offer. Okay, this looks like it's full of stuff I can eat. And they have ketchup, so Tim will be happy. So I was supposed to get a garlic pizza for lunch. This looks like it has all sorts of other stuff on it, but I found a spoon so I can pick stuff off. So I just got a dark chocolate cone. It was 40 rupees. I'm thinking maybe 48 cents. That seems high for 40 rupees. So there's a vegetable truck next to us. And look at these poor ladies <laughs> hanging off the back end. Wow. There's obviously no room for them inside. Yes, you see these little auto rickshaws everywhere. That's what I was trying to think of the other day. Um, all I could think of was Tuk Tuk and I knew that was wrong. But they're auto rickshaws. I'm hoping that we get to ride one of those in a quieter place than here.